Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 60 in chapter 21. Chapter 21 is about electric charge and electric field. You can see we have an electron is traveling through a uniform electric field. And this electric field is, is given in the format of a vector. So you can write the EX and EY there. And also we can check our test book to find the charge for the electron and the mass for this electron, right? At the initial, at the you at initial t equal to zero, the electron is at its origin. So at its origin, the initial location is given, and travel in x direction. So that means the v o x is one point nine meter per second, and v o y is zero. And then what is the position at two seconds later? So time taking is given two seconds. This is all the given quantities. Now we need to find the position, right? First one, we need to find the x component for the position. You can see for x component, you can see we know the initial speed and we know the time taking. It looks like we must find the acceleration in x component, right? So we look at the x component, we can see and uh, ex, sorry, ex. The net force in this uh, elect for electrons in electric field is, is electric force, right? So we use uh, the charge, the electron carries one negative fundamental charge times the electric, electric field is ex equal to mass times acceleration ax, right? Therefore, we can write the equation for the ax in this term. So this is ex. And then we also know if we want to find the location for x, we use the equation we learned in chapter 3 and input all the known quantities. x0 is 0, input is the ax inside, and then we, we get answer there. Similarly, if we want to find the location for y, so we look at the y component. And the electric force in y component is a charge times Ey, right? And this charge is one fundamental negative charge. And also we can write the Ey in this term. And also we learned the equation in our chapter 3. And input a known quantity inside, you can say y not is zero, v o y is not is zero. So we just input a y inside, get the equation look like this one. Input a known quantity, get the answer there. Thank you.